guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Aria and in today's video, we're gonna decorate my living room for fall. It's the last space I'm gonna decorate and honestly, it's normally not the last, but it's last because I've had too much going on and it's always looked like a hot mess express in here. So I've got it tidied up a little bit. So we're gonna decorate it. We're gonna keep it things simple, super simple because frankly, I don't have time to do otherwise. <laughs> If you like watching decorating videos, I hope that you like this one. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if that's the case. Subscribe if you're not already. We're gonna get right into it, okay? Let's go. I've had these pillows on my sofa since I got them back in, what was that, June, when Studio McGee launched their fall decor line. So they've just been sticking with me here, but I kinda wanna just refresh the space. I'm gonna spray everything down with this linen spray that I have from the company Mavwix. I got this from the TikTok shop. It's in the scent Goddess. It is so good. You guys, I have it. I love it so much. I have it in the spray. I have it in the carpet freshener and I have it in the air, the car deodorizer. It's so good. So I thought that I would just switch everything over and just like flip flop the sides and put everything on the opposite side. But let me show you this. Do you see that stain on this pillow? That's for my dear daughter. Yes, my dear daughter always has something going on in her hair and she's always just like laying on my couch when she's home and she completely ruined the pillow. Thank goodness that these pillows are both, they're dual sided so it's not just a print on one side. I was so livid but I would have been even more angry if that was the case but thankfully they're not. So I thought I would switch them over but I realized I don't like the way that looks so I'm gonna put it back how it was. Now that we're back to decorating for fall, I'm going to take off my spring artwork from Studio McGee and put back my fall artwork or my year round artwork. I just think it's a little bit uh, moodier and I like this. Now there is a newer version that's even darker, but I didn't feel the need for that. I really love this print. It's just so good. And this is just what's gonna be here until the holidays and I'll switch it up for a holiday print and then I'll switch it back to this. So when it comes to styling my love seat, I always have a hard time with the pillows. In my mind, for some reason, I thought that would work with that little pillow, but it doesn't. This pumpkin pillow is newer this year. Um, I got that from Target. I just love the green. I'm feeling greens in a lot of things this year in my decor, in my fashion. And I decided maybe these pillows would work better on my accent chairs. I don't know, they're a little big. I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna make them work for now. And then I wanna see what kind of pillows that I can work with that I already have, because again, I don't wanna go out and buy new things. So I'm just gonna see how I can make it work. to see which of the pillows that I already have is gonna do the least amount of clashing with the other pillows that I already have. recognize this from my last video which was my dining room decorating video if you haven't seen that I'll leave that linked um, I it wasn't really working out on my table but maybe it can work here and I was gonna do something a little bit more elaborate but let's just keep it simple let's put the arrangement and put my remotes here and that's all that I need now you may see so I'm gonna style my shelves with what I have already but you may see that wonderful frame over there. That is from Amazon. It's also available on the TikTok shop, but it's also on Amazon, so I'll leave it linked below. I love this frame, you guys. So if you notice, I have a lot of picture frames that I don't have pictures in because it's so hard to take the time to go and get 
pictures printed and all of that stuff. But this, I can just have all of my pictures, or not all of them, but I can send different pictures to the frame and I can change them out seasonally. And the frame is just such a good look. I love the matting around it. So it's just really, really good. I love it, I love it. If you can't tell, I love it. I'm gonna leave it linked down below in case you want it. And then that orange, that orange pumpkin, you guys, I just, I'm trying to find a place for her. Again, I mentioned that in my last video, but I just want to find a place for her. I love her so much. of printing pictures one of the easiest ways to add a little bit of fall decor is to print pictures from Etsy of artwork so you can make them seasonal so this is like a little landscape print and I got that done a few years ago and then I just have them in these frames that I got from Amazon a few years ago and I just keep them in there I don't ever switch it out but every time that I need to decorate for fall it's just easy to pull out those prints because they're just simple and they, they just go with everything that I already have because the colors are muted but they're good quality so that's always a good idea check Etsy for printable art On my shelves to the right of my TV, I don't really have a lot that I need to change because as you can see, there's a few pieces that were just already there. Those are items that I got from Studio McGee back from the fall launch. So I just decided to keep them mostly how they were. I just wanted to switch a few things out, but I really liked how they already were styled. So a lot wasn't needed to be done. up the space I just need to handle that little accent table that I have in the corner now this isn't going to stay here I'm also trying to decide where my tree is going to go I don't know if I want to put it in the corner this year but one step at a time so this accent table isn't meant to stay here it's just when I got the what is this the mirror that's on the other side I decided to put this over here um, we'll see how it goes but for now it helps me to be able to just add a little bit more decor I didn't want to leave it bare because it's just sitting over there in no man's land. It doesn't make any sense. And then for now, I'll find a place for my little orange pumpkin to go. But unfortunately, I think this is my last year with my beautiful orange pumpkin just because I have leaned so far away from an orange like that, that it just doesn't, you know, work for me. I really wish that it was a, a different color, maybe more of a brownie orange but it's just such a good pumpkin. I love it, I've loved it for years, like it was from Target years ago, and it's just oh, such a good pumpkin. But I think everything is now coming together and here's how everything has turned out. Switcheroo 
like that. I think that I like how everything turned out. It is one thing whenever you really are trying to not buy anything and you're trying to work with what you have and sometimes things don't always come together and that's okay because it's my house. Um, so I do love like this area, how these colors kind of come together, but the colors over here are different. And as long as you're not ridiculously clashing, I'm okay with that. I was finding that as I was decorating, I was running out of a lot of florals and I really was trying not to buy florals this year. And I'm still gonna stick with not buying florals this year. Um, next year, I will probably buy florals. Next year, um, I will be working with probably some new things, but that's okay. For now, I love that my home, that is finally done. I'm just, I'm just glad that it's done. <laughs> now I have a lot of cleaning up in the kitchen to do because that was like my ground zero as far as everything being kind of sorted out there and what's not used. Honestly, I'm probably gonna go through these bins before I put them away in the garage for like two weeks before Christmas decorating. Um, I'm gonna go through those bins and start finding what I'm no longer using and doesn't bring me joy anymore. And it will be going to the donation. So that's how I decorated my living room. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Uh, I'll leave what I can link down below because like I said, most items are not new this year. Only a couple of items are new. Everything else I've had for years and years. So if I can link it, I will. If not, it's just something I've loved. So thank you so much for watching. My next decorating video or fall related video will be a fall home tour. I will try to film that sometime this week. As usual in the fall in Raleigh, we get a lot of rain and storms and it's not looking to be a good week. Last week was the same week. Today was like my first actual sunny day in a long time. So I try to do as much as I could, but I will work with what I can and hopefully I can get you my fall home tour. We will be doing a minor amount of decorating for Halloween and I do mean minor. Um, so if you're interested in Halloween decor, come back for that. In the meantime, I have some vlogs coming up and probably be sooner than what you're probably anticipating, Christmas. Mm -hmm. I have a new tree that's already been delivered. I'm excited about it. So yes, come on back, <laughs> subscribe, and we have a lot more coming up for you. And you know what? Off topic, let me know because I share a lot of fashion on my TikTok now. And I've been sharing a lot of fashion that also comes from Amazon. So if you want me to start sharing some of that, I can. Um, I don't want my channel to get too crazy, like with things going all over the place, but by all means. Um, yeah, I'm done rambling. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, like, share it with a friend who loves decor as much as we do. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.